all eyes are on the sky indeed. So we do have that risk for seeing some severe weather. It is a nine first warning weather alert day. Here's a look at that severe weather outlook. We have a slight risk for the entire tri state. Now this has not changed at all for today, uh, but this will constantly be updated. So what are we seeing on radar right now? Everybody's not seeing rain. It's very scattered across places, and if you are seeing rain, it's pretty light for moments, and then it could be a little bit heavier, like heading into Cincinnati. Looks like we'll see a little bit heavier rain, and then on off to our east, seeing some lighter showers as well. So right now, none of this, though, looks to be major. Now, down to the south of us, we are seeing some pretty good size uh, rain there, but for us, we'll see most of this here in the next couple of hours. So let's time it out for you. Uh, heading to about uh, 1 p.m. So after our noon show, we'll start to see a little bit more of that rain. Try to move in. It'll be isolated. There will be some breaks here and there as we are going throughout the afternoon, uh, but we will continue to see that, especially as we had a little bit later on into our evening on into tonight. So we'll see that could be heavy at times and also it will be windy as we are getting some cooler air that will start to move in. Also, another thing that uh, folks will be watching or that you need to be aware of the lightning potential, especially heading out to some games for today. If there was any lightning, you know, all folks have to leave immediately. So this will be another factor. We are looking at pretty good amount of lightning rolling through as we had later on into tonight. So that will also play a factor in a lot of high school's decisions uh, to play that game or to move it up. Wind speeds will also be a factor for today. So our main impact with the severe weather will be the breezy conditions could have some damaging winds and then we will start to um, get a little bit better. But as far as high school football goes, well, as we had later on throughout the day, we will continue to see chances for some rain isolated and spotty for us heading a little bit later on into today. So bring the rain gear with you. No matter what time the game is, you will more than likely need that. Here's a look at what is happening for us though. So after we get this rain moving in, watch what happens back behind here. We're getting some cooler air that will start to push in. We will feel that for our Saturday. I'm actually here in the rain right now, so it is coming down at our studio. So cooler air coming here as we approach our weekend. It's going to be a huge difference. Now, right now, right over our studio, already rainy. You can see it right there on our camera. Uh, temperatures into the 60s and some 70s. We are all cloudy all across the tri-state right now. So let's talk about the rest of the forecast for you, what we have going on. Well, this weekend, 62, 66 for your Sunday. Look at the lows, though. Our lows are dipping into the 40s. Yeah, it's that time of the year. Um, now, today will be one of the last warmest days that we'll have after this rain. We will see a little bit of a break from the rain for a while before we do get more of that. But again, uh, rain moving in already right now, but picking up as we go later on throughout the day.